very similar to this, and does not make a big difference on account of the value of n very large if you add one. So this is an example uh, in APL of the uh, Lecuyer combined generator, just to show you that to generate 200,000, it took me just three seconds. So you have here the, the, the mean, 0.5, variance, 0.08, it's 1 over 12, standard deviation, maximum minimum. And it's not, it's not terribly complicated, it's just a couple of instructions. But again, you can download it directly from his website. So in conclusion, what you have to do, uh, be careful in using random number generation. Don't do it blindly. The poor and plain bad generator are still popular. And you have to pressure vendors to change that, for instance. The pressure uh, NAG or uh, for instance, MATLAB. And, uh, Identify which one you use and its main characteristic, seed and period. And it's not so easy. I'll give you an example. I was unable to know exactly what Winbugs is using as random number generator. I asked uh, several people and they told me it's a linear congruent short generator. But you see, they are all linear congruent short generators. So it doesn't tell you very much. You have seen several methods, large case state, vector, dynamic soup, combined generator, the one of Lecuyer. And there is another one I did not talk about in Modulo 2, is the so-called Mersenne Twister by Matsumoto and Nishimura. And this is also a very good one. The problem is to be careful with the C. This is in fact the one by default in R, as far as I know. And now, uh, for the future, some people say the, the future is in quantic <coughs> random number generator. So it is a really true process to generate randomness. The problem with this quantic is that you cannot reproduce a sequence without storage. So if you want to reproduce complete the computation, you have to store all your sequence. It could be a very long sequence. Yes? Uh, which one is in photo? Uh, in, in Fortran? I don't know. It probably be it, it, a lot of software as, as the uh, lemma, you know, the, the famous 7 to the power of 5 modulo 2 to 31 minus 1. It's still in use in many. So you have to check it. For instance, I don't have, uh, but I can show you the list once. The one in Excel is very poor. It's not recommended. In MATLAB, it was not a good one. So, you see, we really use MATLAB as a <laughs> generator. And uh, it's amazing because most people don't care. And uh, when I started to get interested in that question, I realized that there would be a more problem than we assume. So, this is the end. The kind of uh, textbooks have that, they create no people. And also here, the website, you can download Deng, Lecuyer, and uh, Matsumoto. Uh, if you go to this site, have a short note of the MRG with the FPL program. Now we we'll move to the second part, adding this uniform number 01, how you generate any kind of distribution. So we we'll start with, the, as usual, we we'll start with the basic principle called inversion. And we we'll consider random variable continuous one with a cumulative density function f of x. So f of x between 0 and 1. So what you will do is simply the following. You draw a new from your uh, generator, u01. And you take f minus 1 of u. And this x minus 1 of u is a draw from the distribution of x. And why this? It's very simple. We have to demonstrate that the probability of random variable big x, lower or equal to little x, is this cumulative density function. My definition 
This means that x has this distribution. So as f is monotonous, this is equivalent to probability of f of this, lower or equal of f of that, of f of f minus 1 is identity. So it's probability of u, lower or equal to f of x. But if u is uniform, from 0 to 1, this is f of x. So, provided you have a simple expression from a cumulative density function, you can generate a lot of distribution. And we will give you a couple of examples. The first one is the logistic, for instance. Remember, we use PDD logistic with the binary data or with both curves. <coughs> so, f of x is 1 over 1 